He's This is how you do it. This is how we do it. This is how we This is how we do it. It's nineteen ninety nine and Brian's fifty in nineteen ninety nine. And Will is only fifteen years old and soon they're both gonna be in Hollywood. Brian's okay. much older. No, Will is no. much younger because he's a millennial. Don't be an agent. It feels so good. <laughs> <Don't age laughs> <shame>. My hood. Da da bang chang, bada bang, bada dang. <laughs> this is my favorite line of that whole song. All, all the gang bangers forgot about the drive by. What are you Gotta trying to move on? Why are you trying to make this? Sh- it's like, oh, no, no, they're not the going to forget about the drive by. A little bit because I'll see, like, there's a picture of you and GSP. On the you know that, that and his that calves are bigger. And, yeah, he's got those. He's got those great teardrop things. And yeah. You're, you know, you're you're there. Yeah, you're but there. I, you must smoke them sprint, right? 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 <laughs> Did you sprint against GSP? Smoked them, right? <laughs> you faster than G? I don't know why you put me in this situation. I'm asking questions. Yeah, when you question my stuff. Did you- I'm asking questions. Yeah, when you question my stuff. Go- so I guess the Big Brown slim down is over. What happens first in this new era? The kid goes bald or Big Brown reaches 350 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a very good question. It's not, though, because for me, I'll answer first, B, because for me, you know me, I'm too vain to let myself go. So there's nothing worse than me when you see a, uh, one of your favorite athletes and you see him, whatever, not competing or doing something, oh, and yeah. they're, like, way out of shape. Their like, face is all oh, fat. Holy fuck! Yeah. It's like seeing Superman obese. You're like, bro, I know. what the fuck, man? It's true. And for me, being on TV and the other stuff we got going on, I almost got to be in better shape physically, yeah. not cardiovascular, but now it's more about, uh, you know, physically looking good. You, I, when I was fighting, it was more about being efficient in shape. Now it's more about, you know, yeah. looks. Yeah. So he's different. Yeah. But other guys, you know, like no, Sean no, or, no, um, no, you know, so Izzy, they know, like, oh, I'm going to start this dude so I can get A paid, yeah. be a huge fight. Yeah. yeah. But the more exciting fight was uh, Nate Diaz and uh, Jake, Jake Paul. Yeah, man. Diaz is rugged as they come. And we know that, though, and, yeah. Yeah, and, but, 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 um, I, and I, I kind of figured it would go something like that. No, you didn't. No, I did. Covers up. He's bigger than people think. He's tall. He's, He's also yeah. kind of did people notice for me anyway because I'm 170 and a small friend. Yeah, everyone's but I was like, he's his head is way bigger than I thought. His arms are super long. He's long. he's got a big frame. Now his brother Nick is even bigger. Yeah. But but 190. That's just too quick, too yeah, technical. Maybe I, I don't know. I don't his know. His footwork's too Mike's good. Grappling. Mike was never you know. But, but it's Mike not his is, thing. Mike Mike still is a, a, a professional. professional. Yeah, professional. Yeah. Grappling. I'm just saying when it comes to that. Uh, you know, his technique's not, I would never push him yeah. like that. This is all he's yeah. doing. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I can make it happen. But we're, we're going to make it happen. Now, we're not going to have you fight anybody until we have got you trained and ready. You're 40. Yeah. You you don't have any injuries. Uh-uh. I mean, you use a straight bar. A couple thickies back there, too. Body isn't what, I'm not as happy with it. Not more, not compared right? to Tim Tebow. Yeah. I got some you don't have, I, I get teared You don't have the belly of the muscle, is But no. you know who's crazy flexible? Joe. Joe Rogan is the most flexible motherfucker on the planet. He'd suck his own dick, I bet. 100%. Yeah. He is, at 56, he is, he can do the splits. I don't know anybody at that age. He's fucking weird. We, we had a meeting one time in Hollywood, and this was both, he was sitting on the couch. He grabbed he both his it. fucking, yes, he grabbed both his yeah. ankles. And those flexible jeans. Oh yeah, those build. Just- I used to be yummy to gay men, and I knew I was getting older when they just stopped looking at me. I was on the big shit, but I've never seen it. Like all the footage you see of people just dropping dead what all is, over the fucking place. What is all I've never this seen that talk before. of turbo cancer? Why do I keep hearing that phrase, turbo cancer? I don't know what that is. Turbo slut? No, no, no. Turbo cancer. <laughs> Remember turbo slut? Yeah, I do. <laughs> What's a turbo slut?
It's just a girl who's extra slutty. I, I made T-shirts of merch back in the day. Yeah, well, how did that phrase come about? Like, where did that phrase come out? Uh, me and Brian were talking about something on the show, and say like, she's a turbo slut. Yeah, that was it. And then, I think we might have been on Companion. We were laughing so hard that I made merch. Who is this? Who's fighting now? This is the uh, first fight of the main card. Hey, I'm warning you now, dude. Kyoto. I took I took Kyoto. Magic Mind. Yeah. Your boy sent me Magic Mind. How about that Magic Mind? I took mind down shit. my coffee, bro. Did, did I not tell you? It's so good. Um, it's fantastic. You feel good, right? You, yeah. You're kind of hey. like, you're alert. Yep. You're not wired. You're alert. You're yep. just like, wow. Ah! Yep. This was about getting money. And according to John Nash, who spoke to the manager of Nate Diaz, he is going to pocket somewhere between 15 and 20 million, vastly more than he ever got for the second Conor McGregor fight. So I think fans were happy to see him get a little bit of freedom, happy to carve his own path and get a huge payday. Mission accomplished. The Nate Diaz fans, I don't think they really look at this like some kind of disreputable loss. On the other hand, for Jake Paul, he was coming off of the Tommy Fury fight and he needed to get right. He needed a big name to get right, to get back in the winning track, to then set up whatever subsequent opportunity he was going to get. Obviously, he got a big payday from this as well, Shaq. But my point being is, Jake Paul needed a little bit of redemption against a known name. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. I feel like both guys needed something from this particular moment in time. And Shaq, both of them got it. This was a... Um, so he has eight, uh, 174. Oh no, this is way up. It's backwards. Power punches. Jake threw, uh, 289. And, uh, Diaz threw 347. And then when you get other things. So you saw some of the, his look at this as one lane in combat sports and boxing in another lane. You can't look at a kid. That was the narrative, right? So when they, he's the gangster, remember? So then he goes in there. It made, that fight wasn't that close in any facet. There was never any time you Nate win. That was the narrative. And this one, the guilty. Oh, what if it's just that? It's okay, you know? What if it's just that? It's okay, you know?